Next up, our German of the Week section, where we put the spotlight on a prominent person from this week's news, a German citizen or even a foreigner who we deem an honorary German who's had an effect, for better or worse, on German culture, society or politics. Our German of the Week, this episode hails from a small town called Wedel in the northwest of Germany. He is not known for something that he did this week, but for what he did 28 years ago. His name is Matthias Rust, and during the height of the Cold War, when the east and west of Germany were separated, he flew, starting from Hamburg in the west of Germany, all the way to Moscow, Russia, and landed in the middle of the street, nearby from the Kremlin itself. He was 19 years old when he came up with this plan for a peace mission. Being passionate about politics and watching television in Hamburg, Russ saw a meeting between the United States and the Soviet Union that ended up in yet another stalemate. He knew right then that he had an opportunity to show the world that the people wanted to improve relations between the nations. Having already earned his pilot's license previously, Matthias Russ decided that he was going to fly to Russia to create an imaginary bridge to the east. He set off from Hamburg in a single-engine plane on May 13, 1987. Flying in a straight path would not have been possible, so Russ first flew to a group of islands belonging to Denmark, then to Iceland, then to Norway, and then to Finland. He spent a few days in Finland convincing himself that he was making the right decision. It was a very dangerous plan. He would fly through the Soviet air defense shield, and he had a high chance of being shot out of the air. At the last minute, before heading back home, Russ turned his little plane towards Moscow. After entering Soviet airspace, he was soon spotted. What might have saved his life was there was a misunderstanding by the Soviet pilots, and they believed that Russ Plane was allowed to be there. He made it to Moscow on May 28th, and ended up landing his little plane on the bridge next to the Kremlin, as Red Square was too full of people to land safely. After the landing, he was able to speak to some of the civilians who approached his plane about his peace mission but he was soon arrested by Soviet police. He was then sentenced to four years in a labor camp. Luckily, he only had to serve just over one before being released on a gesture of goodwill. Matthias Rust's adventure was more than just a talking point for peace. It brought about real changes. Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev used this incident to push across strong military reforms in the country. 